Can we change only parts of a complex element in YAML? Like for example, the name of a person? The answer is yes, we can. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series of YAML tutorials. I was asked to make a video on how to deal with complex elements in YAML. There is already a YAML tutorial on data type definitions in YAML and I'll put a link in the description below. In this video, I'll show you how to use XPath to change the last name of a person in a simple demo workflow. So let's go to the computer. Okay, I have my sample workflow open here. And um, let's first have a look at the data type definitions. So I open this window here and you can see that we have a complex type, um, person type, first name, last name and address. So that's our complex type. And um, the goal in this workflow will be that we will do a marriage and that we will change the last name of the bride to have the name of the husband. So let's see how we can do that. So in the first task, this is already implemented here. You can load this from the supplementary material. This is the starting configuration. Um, we have data variables here for the husband and the bride. And um, we can also see that both husband and bride are initialized here with um, John Doe for the husband and Jane Joplin for the bride. And then we have this input and output for the first task, so that's standard. And now what we want to do is in the do marriage task, we, we want to um, have the same data variables, so I'll pull them in here. And we want to change the name, just the last name of the bride. And in order to do that, what we need to do is um, we need to get back at the initialization of the variables here. And I like to copy that into some kind of normal editor first. And then we need to replace the values in this complex tie in this complex element by something that is evaluated first. So we need these curly braces here. And then we need the name of the task, so this is called do marriage, and if we look at the, um, the data variables here in do marriage, we can just, you know, drag them in here. And if we look at the bride, we can see that in the output mapping, we have do marriage bride. So I will copy that here. This was generated by, by the editor, and um, put it in here. And now what we need to do is we need to replace this star, which means all the elements inside, by the components here. And so I will, because we need that three times, I will copy that several times. So we need the component and then we need text. And I will copy that in here. So now we have 
first name, and now we have do marriage, which is the name of the task. Bride is the name of the task variable. And then we need to put in the first name of the task. So I, I take first name here. And I will take the last name. And the address. But instead of having the last name of the bride, I want to have the last name of the husband. So that will be my, my new expression. And I will put that in the URL editor now. In the output mapping of the bride. and say OK. And also, I also want to make this an automated task so that I don't have to do anything. So I put it on automated here by clicking that. I save it and upload it to the YAWL engine, launch a new case. OK, now um, don't need this anymore. Go to the control center and now I have um, enter names which is the first task and I start it directly to me so I am logged in with the user that is also administrator at the same time and I look at the first work item here and I can see John Doe and Jane Joplin so I don't change the names I let them as they are I complete this task I go to the next one, which is check name. So you have seen that do marriage has already been completed and now check names is here to work on. I assign it directly to me and I look at the values and now I can see John Doe, Jane Doe. What a boring name. And I'm done. I hope this was helpful. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. See you in the next video.